Hello everybody, this is Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com and today I am uh, here on a pedestrian overpass to show you how I did um, one of my light trail shots. Actually, there's a light trail shot that I did in Tokyo that's one of my most popular and so I just thought I'd give you a little idea of how I did that. Now of course sometimes, as you can see here, the traffic is coming at uh, different times and so in cases like this sometimes one single shot does, doesn't always do what you need it to and so you really need to take multiple shots and blend them together now of course you can do this in photoshop you can take multiple shots and then just mask them or whatever uh, and it's not really a big deal but if you can do it in camera why not right so that's what i'm going to show you how to do tonight how i do this in camera and uh, how you can do it too now i have my uh my nikon d7000 here see my reflection there um, and I'm going to show you in the menu here. Now, in the menu there, um, in the camera menu, you have multiple options here. And here it says multiple exposure. Right now it's off. So we're going to go over. And you have several different options here. Now on this, the number of shots, unfortunately on this one, I don't know if you can see it very well there, you can't go, um, you can't go more than two, or rather three, that is. Um, so you can do two or three, but for this I'm just going to do two. I really don't need to do too much more than that. And then we'll push done. Now this is only going to work one time. If you want to do more multiple exposure, you have to go in and reset that. So it'll, it'll reset itself every single time. Um, so that maybe you don't accidentally do multiple exposures or whatever. Now at this point, you're, uh, you're done. You don't have to do much else other than just uh, take your settings. And... Um, you know, work with them. In this case, uh, I'm just right around the blue hour. You can't really see it very well because <laughs> it's kind of cloudy, but uh, it is blue hour right now. And you'll see it a little bit better when you see the, the finalized picture. Um, but so I have it set to 30 second exposure. I'm at 100 ISO um, and I'm pretty tight at 11. I've got my wide angle uh, toking uh, 11 to 16 on here. And so uh, that will make it nice and sharp. And so we'll go ahead and uh, take that shot in just a minute here. Now it's good to kind of know, you can see these lights are about to come. Those are going to be red since it's at the rear end of it. And so we'll go ahead and, and start that shot. I'll get back to you in a minute uh, with the next shot after this one's over. Okay, we're back again and I've exposed for the red lights. Now I'm going to go ahead and expose for these white lights of cars that are oncoming. And uh, as you can see, the timing is a little different here. So the, the red lights of cars going away from me and the white lights of cars coming towards me are going to be different. And that's why uh, this multiple exposure method is, is so useful here. I'll get back to you again once this final shot is done and we'll look at what the, uh, the final image looks like. Okay, so we just finished up that uh, second shot and the multiple exposure is done. So let's see how it looks. Let's see if we can get a little kind of close there. There you go. And I'd say that's pretty good. We'll zoom in a bit. And you can see you got lots of nice lights over here on the left. You got the red lights, you got the white lights of oncoming cars. And one of the other nice things is over here, since there's also some oncoming traffic, you can see even over there some lights that have, uh, of a car pulling up. So that makes it a little bit more interesting too over there on the side. And so that is how you do a multiple exposure shot. Not much to it. And then you can take it into uh, Lightroom, Photoshop, whatever you want to use, and make those edits. So this has been Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com. I hope this has been useful for you. And uh, enjoy making your own uh, light trail photos.